Hey, do you have a lawnmower where your parking brake continuously falls down? You know, this is a pretty common issue as the machine gets some hours on it. You know, this right here is a customer of ours here for some repair, has a few thousand hours on it. One of their complaints is the parking brake doesn't hold their mower on their trailer anymore. You can see it just, if I bring it up, it very easily falls back down. We're gonna get into how to fix that. It's super easy. Just bear with me for a second. We're gonna talk about it, why you should do this. It's very important to do, and it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. Guys, when you don't fix your parking brake, what you're basically doing is you're causing your machine to constantly have to be started every time you get off of it. Because you won't be able to get off the machine without your brake falling down. And you have to get off your machine a lot. Talk to customers, pick up a stick, pick up a bucket, whatever it is. And leaving it idling is gonna make it last so much longer. Guys, this is just like your car that you could turn off that auto start feature, right? I hate that they do that. You stop at a stoplight and your car shuts off and your car has to restart every time you hit a traffic light. Guys, that starter has a limited amount of cranks in its lifespan. It only will crank, say, 5,000 times, right? And if you're cranking at every stoplight instead of just when you left your house and when you arrive at your location, you're gonna really shorten your lifespan of that expensive part. Same thing with the lawnmower. The starter only has so many starts in it. And if you're having to do 10 more starts a day or 15 more starts a day than maybe you should have to, you're gonna wear out that starter a lot faster. You're also gonna wear out your battery a lot faster because your starter requires a lot of juice from your battery. You're also gonna wear out your charging system a lot faster because your battery's constantly gonna be dead. So it's ability to charge, it's gonna to have to be constantly working extra hard to try to juice up that battery. It's a lot of little contributing factors that just fixing this simple fix is gonna help you with. Not to mention, this is also gonna be rolling around your trailer and bumping into your other mowers, causing damage, causing damage to your trailer, causing damage to this mower. It's gonna scratch up your paint, it's gonna scratch up your mower, it's gonna just beat your whole system up. It'll even maybe creep back to the back of your trailer and all of a sudden you have all this tail weight on your tongue and your truck loses control and you blow up! It's because you didn't want to take a minute to adjust your parking brake. But guys, it is a common problem, it happens all the time. We're gonna see if we can adjust it on this high hour machine. Sometimes you have to replace your brake pads and that might be the case with this one. I haven't got into it yet, but we're gonna get into this and see how big of a job it is together. Follow me. Okay guys, first thing is you gotta jack up. You gotta get access inside your wheel well. Don't gotta do anything fancy, just get the dang tire off the ground. Next thing is I gotta get the tire off. Oh, a messy mower, perfect. So guys, as I move my parking brake here, you can see my lever moving here. It's squeezing my brake pads on my drum there, just like that. See how this brake pad moves in and out? So to adjust, we're gonna have to see what's underneath this pile of grass here. Okay, so what we need to do once you clean off this debris is you pop this little clip up. You can see this little clip, you can use a flathead. I have my Leatherman on me. You grab this little, under this little ear here, and I'm just really just prying up, and you see it flicks up just like that. This is holding this pin in, and now I can pull this pin out. Once you wiggle out the pin, here's your adjustment rod. You have threaded ends on both sides, so you have a lot of adjustment here. If I ran out of adjustment here, I could pop the pin off and do the adjustment on this side. I don't think we're gonna need to. I have a lot of meat on my pads. I can see them in there. I'm gonna screw this down a couple turns and test it. To test it, you just pop your pin back in temporarily. Grab your parking brake lever. Let's see if it engages and holds up. Oh, it feels so much better already. I'm gonna do a couple more turns. Sorry if my hands are blocking your view, guys. But one, two, there we go. I'm gonna leave about four threads on this part and I'm gonna do the same to the other side. So I stick that all the way through and then I just fold that down. And that's it. Let me chest now. Oh yeah, that is glorious parking brakes clamp, the mower won't roll around on your trailer anymore. Let's go to the other side. Okay, just take off all this junk. This is gonna just happen with any mower, guys. This is how you adjust the parking brake on these, this series mower. This is a 5,000 series. It's any mower with this Parker transmissions are gonna be on the 5,000 and the 3,000 and on the 6,000 series with Toro. Same thing, I'm gonna pop off this little clip Actually, this clip, because this one has the locking pin, this will be easier. Get down here. Sorry, there we go. There we are. It's a little different on this side. Ow, sand spur. 
and I'm going to tighten it down. Same as we had the other one, I left about four threads about there. Sorry, my hands are all up in the way, guys. If only my hands were cameras, that'd be better. That's probably the trickiest bit, but it's not really that hard. And then you click your tick tech thing back on, and that's it. Let me double check my parking brake once I pull it. Oh, yeah. Nice and tight, y'all. Okay, let's put the wheel back on. We're done with this side. Guys, with these tweels, it's important that you check and tighten your lug nuts often. Just because they're a more rigid tire, they seem to come loose occasionally. Like, I would just put a wrench on them every couple oil changes just to double check that they're still snug. They're just a little less forgiving than the air tires and, and they can back off, unfortunately. And when it does that, it totals the wheel and you got like a $700 wheel problem. So every once in a while, get your gun out and give them a couple zaps. Well, I hope that was helpful. That's a quick way to adjust your parking brakes. If you try to adjust them and you notice, hey, I'm still not getting any bite, your pads could be bad. They're just brake pads. You can order them at your local mower shop. It's not a big deal. Those are pretty easy to change too, but really start with adjusting. You'll be shocked how much life you have in those pads. You're not gonna be wearing them out very much. Everybody, adjust your brakes. It'll save your mower, save you a lot of money. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more helpful tips. See you later.